Because in a short while, we're going to be declaring prophetic, and we're going to be prophesying into 2020. Hear me quickly. The global prophetic for the year 2020. Then I will step into individual prophetic agenda as you begin to lift up your prayer expectation before God. Now, what is the global prophet prophecy for the year 2020? The global peace accord. <laughs> it's a year of rising and a year of falling. Hear me, it's a year of war. Um, I, and the Lord, when I heard the Lord, I said, this is exactly what I did when the Lord told me. I said, hmm. And God said, why are you saying hmm? I said, why God? It's a year, a year of war. It is a year of war. Political war among nations. Territory war among continents. Be writing it down. Listen to me. There are instruments of war already prepared. And there will be prepared for 2020. It's a year of war. Nations, continents. You will soon hear it now. You will soon be hearing, hearing the breaking news. People at war. 2020 is a year of oppression. There will be so many wars, power, and local power oppression. But those who know their God, they shall be strong and we shall do exploit. Are you writing it down? 2020 is a year of the shift and transfer of power. And it's going to be a shift in 20 years. A shift in the realm of the spirit. There's going to be a shift in the realm of power. Now, 2020 religion prophecy. There will be churches at war. war. I saw it. He was telling me. And I said, Lord, all, after all this, what shall we do? He said, I will tell you what to do. But see what is what's, it's on the ground. War among churches and religions in the land. Fight for territorial control. Will be much more rampant, particularly among the Christian, the charismatic churches. This is the year people must serve God and not men. Hear it? Serve God and not men. Now, so there will be so many war, religion war, war in the churches. And then, in the same year, 2020 is a year of Christian restoration. God will restore his glory in his kingdom to the church and genuine house of the Lord. Why false and fake churches and fake acclaimed prophets of God, they will be exposed. They will be displaced around the world, particularly in Africa and every largest Christian countries around the world. The true children of God shall be free and they shall be established in their Christian dominion kingship. The secret of so many false prophets will be opened and their prayer will be free to their freedom. The house of the Lord shall yet be increased and people shall worship God in truth and in spirit. Faith increase. The church of God and in particular Wami will increase sporadically in 2020. Give the Lord a crap of it for that. I'm going to be reading then in subsequent meeting. 2020 is a year of kinship. Power, determinant, and enthronement. I see more world leaders and leadership in government, president, mayors, house of parliament, and senators, royal kings in places like America, Asia, and some part of Africa being removed and replaced by coup and or impeachment or by forceful election because it is a year of monarchy. There will be so many removal and replacement by natural death or by revolution of the people. 2020 global economy shift down line and upper line. It's going to be 2020 and 50-50 sharing economy. The year 2030 will be a year of economy transformation from the worst to the best. It is a year of balance. There shall be a periodic early season of a global financial crisis and famine. But the mid and later year of, the, of, the, of plenty and balance, African continent will be more positively transformed economically. 2020 Africa International Trading Year. 
I see more world international trading community from America, Asia, and Europe seeking financial gain from Africa continent, in particular, some part of Southern Africa and West Africa, like South Africa, Nigeria, we are lucky to be there, Kenya, Ghana, Rwanda. 2020 Africa Mineral Resources Years. More mineral resources will be discovered in some Africa soil to the attractions of the world mineral resources amazement. To the extent that some African continent, in particular from Southern region and West Africa, will break the world mineral resources discovery. We saw it some two years ago. It's happening again this year. 2020 International World Peace Challenges. It's a year of war and counter challenges. I see more outbreak of war politically and economic rivalry. I see more and more territorial protection war arising from the Western world powers within themselves, particularly for America, Asia, Europe, and counterpart. 2020 territorial terrorism insurgent warning. I see some new African countries will emerge a terrorist breeding ground and attack. African giant countries will be captured via unprecedented bomb attack and suicide. Southern region like South Africa, Mozambique, Angola, Uganda, Mali, they are target while some of their plot will be backfire on the plotters. South Africa, be at alert. 2020 airspace aviation. I see some more and more relative airspace peace, peace. Nevertheless, more giant aviation country will be shaking up, but God will preserve his people. 2020 new aircraft, airspace innovation. I see also more discovery and launching of superior airspace safety de technology, in particular in new improved aircraft technology. 2020 sport arena. I see some world soccer world of war. I see some world soccer war of war. New sport rules against sportmen and women victory, both in football and athletics. Finally, I see some sad sport news from among footballer world stars, raging for natural death and some sudden stadium strategies. Our prayer will rescue so many players. Rest upon your feet, everybody. There is a shift. There is a shift. There is a shift. Hey! There is a shift. Go on to Joseph. What is said to you? Do. Do. And there was a famine. You hear me? This is a prophecy. There is going to be scarcity of bread in this land this month. Mark my word. You will hear breaking news. Amen. Scarcity of bread. Scarcity of essential commodities. Jesus. And you will hear it in some part of Africa. In some part of Europe. In some part of Asia. Not only in Africa. You shall hear the rumors. There is a scarcity of essential commodity. Even a toothpick. Will be so scarce in some part of this community of this world. Hear me. God said to me, There is a shift. There is a shift. This month. This month. I'm not preaching, though, I'm prophesying. It is a turning point. There is somebody hearing me from America, from Europe, from Asia, from China, from any part of the world, from Africa, every part of Africa. This month is your month of turning point. There is a shift, yes, a dramatic shift. Ah. So I'm giving you a spiritual warning. There is a scarcity. Water will be scarce. Even we are having this is the season, I don't know, of, of millimeter, yet millimeter will be scarce. But they will come to me and you. How? Where are you getting your own money? Where? How are you getting your money? Because there is a shift. Yesterday, thousands of shoppers descended on shops, clearing the shelves of food, multivitamin supplements, as well as cleaning products such as hand sanitizers. Oh. 